Okay, so these videos are quick answers to a couple of questions I got. Uh, first, we have here uh, a table, the table of permutations of the alternating group 4. And this alternating group um, A4 of even permutations of the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here we have, for instance, the identity, we, we call it epsilon, okay? And you should look carefully at this diagonal, okay? So, this is a huge table, takes some time to do it, but it's quite uh, uh, intuitive of this. So we get directly into the questions. Two questions here. First one, let G be this factor group, Z by 20Z, and H for Z by 20Z. First list the elements of the division and of the division group and how do you know that this division group is a, a group? Okay, we will get into the second one later. Let's get first on this one. So we are going to use here a shorthand for cosets. Okay, so cosets are elements, they are sets, okay? So we will have um, all the elements that are written in this way, 20z plus a, okay? But we are going to, to use this shorthand a bar. So a bar will be all elements written in this way. So now that we have this notation for a bar, so the elements of G will be the cosets of every single element of G, right? 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, 3, 4 bar, etc. So now that we have the element, by definition, H, so this one, 4Z uh, division by 20Z, will be all the a bar that are in z division by 20 z such that a is in 4 z this is the definition there is a a bracket, bracket missing here so this h element will be 4 z division by 20 z will be 0 bar, 4 bar, 8 bar, 12 bar, 16 bar. The funny thing is that the we are asked to list the elements and then to check if it is a group and we do both at the same time. Okay, so now we know that G is this one and H is this Z, 0 bar, 4 bar, A bar, etc. So, why is the division a group? We are going to list the elements first. So, the order of G is 20 and the order of H is 5. So, we use Lagrange theorem. You can check my videos for that. And we know that the division ring will have the division, sorry, the division group, if it is a group, of course, will have order 4. So we know how many distinct cosets we are looking for now. Here they are. So G is this one, H is this one, and the elements. So the list of elements of the division group is 0 bar plus H. So the, here I, I, I wrote it as if it was the left cosets, okay, but the left and right cosets are the same. So 0 bar plus H 
all elements in the form 4 bar plus h and they will be equal to 8 plus h, 12 plus h, because this, these are the same sets. Okay. If you add 4 here, you will get the same set, because 0 plus 4 is 4, 4 is here. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 is here. Okay, and 16 plus 4 is uh, 0. Okay, because we are in 20z. We are working module 20. 1 bar plus h is this one. 2 bar plus h is this one. And 3 bar plus h is that one. Okay, so the elements are listed. Okay, we have the elements of the division group, g by h. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the list, since the order of the division g by h is 4, we know that g by h is either cyclic, because it's order 4, and isomorphic to Z4, or if it is not cyclic, it will be isomorphic to direct sum of Z2 by Z2. So, the division G by H is a group, either isomorphic to Z4 or isomorphic to direct sum Z2 plus Z2.